I'm here to finish the fight! What's up everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the DSTAR01 channel. I'm your host Dexter Oracleus and today we'll be unboxing Spartan Collection Halo Master Chief with accessories. I believe this is him in his Halo 5 armor and I'm pretty psyched about this one. I found this at Walmart. He was the last one. I was like, wow, everyone has been looking for this figure and I'm so glad that I finally got a chance to pick him up at Walmart. Unfortunately, I do not carry this at www.dstartoys.com. Your reliable source for awesome action figures. Unfortunately, I cannot get this one. This one looks to be only an exclusive to Target and Walmart and stuff like that uh, here in the United States. I believe GameStop might be getting it also, but I, as a small toy store, have no chance to pick this up. So enough of me talking about that. Let's open this up. Let's go to the top cam. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Everyone says that this figure is pretty good. From what I can tell, he does look really good. My issue with this figure, actually, from finally seeing it up close, is that his armor paint color looks pretty dull. <laughs> I hate to say that. I know there are a lot of people who are like, no, it looks fine. I think it could have been better, uh, but we're going to look up close and we're going to see for sure, okay? So I'm not going to come up with that conclusion just yet. It's just seeing him up close, I finally get to see that it just looks very... What's the word I'm looking for? Plasticky. They could have used a better paint app on it, and that's just my opinion on that one. Uh, also, the packaging, it seems like the gun just fell out, and the two hands just fell. They are not secured very well in that package, but that's okay. Also, I heard that the arm has an issue, but we're going to look at that. Hopefully, mine doesn't have that issue, and if it does, then we're going to see if we can fix it. I believe there's a method out there to fix it. Looks like we actually have some sort of What's this? Oh yeah, that is a plastic piece right there. It looks like we need to take out the blade. Let's open this guy up. All right, I got my Gundam nippers right here. Let's see if we can just cut those real fast. Get in there nice and precision-like. And let's get this guy out of his plastic print. It looks like we have some right here on his legs or his shins. That's one. That's the other. I think that is it. Can Master Chief come out? Let's look at this. All right, let's look. Let's go to the front cam. Let's see what we're dealing with here. First and foremost, wow. I'll tell you what did really well in the paint. Let's look at that beautiful visor. It looks like they nailed down that super, like, what? what's the word? Reflective visor, and that looks really, really solid. Let's see. Do I have the issue? Is my arm super loose? And I have to say, no, mine has the clicky joints and it seems pretty tight. Looks like he can hold his arms up. Oh. And it looks like the arms do work really well. So no issues on my figure. Lucky me. Now let's talk about the paint detail. This is one thing that when I picked this up, Janelle looked at it and he, she's like, what is up with this? And it looks like the marks here just... Mm, it's just painted on. It's not actually indentations or scratches in his actual armor. This is indeed just painted on scratches, as you can see right here. Some of the paintwork is actually kind of sloppy. If you can look right here in the silver part right here, it looks like we got some paint bleed going on right here. Uh, and also, it's just it seems like they just splashed all kinds of wear and tear on him. That's what it looks like up close. When you look at it up close, it doesn't look as uh, or as... I wouldn't say clean because it's supposed to look dirty. It just doesn't look as well as I thought it would. But if you look at Master Chief, this Master Chief in particular, from a distance, I have to say he looks really good. Like really, really, really good. This is easily one of my favorite looking Master Chiefs right here. And he just looks really solid. But like I said, when you look up close, all the scratches and wear and tear could have been better. I think the paint apps on those just needs a little bit of work. Um, that's just me though, obviously. I mean, it's a $20 toy for what it is. Oh, wow, absolutely worth it. I'd have to say it looks really, really good. The armor, the Spartan armor is just looking so good. <laughs> Especially for a figure of this, this amount, 20 bucks, not bad. Also, his scale is really, really big. So let's go into articulation and scale, jumping right into it. Let's back it up. He's really tall. And let's see how tall this guy is standing. Let's take out this ruler. He's standing, ooh, really, really tall. We're looking at almost seven and a quarter inches right there. He is a big boy. Now let's take out something that I really want to compare it to. And let's look right here. This is the Thousand Toys 
Master Chief right here. So this is the Mark V, I believe. I don't know what the Halo 5 um, mark is, but let me know down in the comments down below. So here we go. So this is what we're looking at here. Obviously, the uh, the Wicked Cool Toys one is much taller. So that's what we're dealing with here. A much taller, much bigger scaled Master Chief, where the Thousand Toys one is actually scaled smaller. To my surprise, I thought they would be about the same size. So <laughs> let's look at the price. This is about 150. I don't know if you can even find it find it anymore because it is really hard to find. And this one's 20 bucks. So I'd have to say, just by looking at them, the $20 one would be a solid deal. But you know what? If you want the absolute best Master Chief, I know there's a lot of people who didn't like how he looked, but I personally really like this figure because he's really articulated. He has a lot of movable points and stuff like that, regardless that his um, wrist joints are really loose. I just really like the way this one's designed and the way it looks and moves and everything like that is fantastic. They really put a lot of thought into this one. So this is my favorite Master Chief, but you know what? The one that I'm going to be playing with the most clearly is the Wicked Toys one. This one's 20 bucks, no issue, looks really cool. He poses really well, which is what we're going to get into. But before we do that, let's compare with some other action figures. Here's Marvel Legends, Whew, really big boy. Here's the Marvel Legends Captain America right there. And here is a demoniacal fit Gohan. Wow, really, really tall. And if you want Sora from Bring Arts to jump into the world of Halo, there you have it. That's how these two compare. And last but not least, we have my custom made Gohan Dragon Stars Color 13 Dragon Ball Fighters. And there you have it. That's how he scales with that. So he's a really, really tall figure. Let's go into articulation. We have up and down here at the toe. We have clicky joints everywhere. So we also have a clicky joint here at the ankle with a really nice ankle swivel. Double joint and knee right there. Ball joint here at the inner thigh with also a thigh swivel. Does he move left? No, he does not move left and right here at the waist, but we do have slight left and right here at the upper waist, but it's very limited. So it looks like we can't get some, some what do you call it, turning punches, unfortunately. So let's look what else we have here. We do have a ball joint with a slight butterfly joint here at the shoulder. It's very slight. But we're going to test that out, see if you can hold the rifle with two hands. Uh, we also have a bicep swivel right there, which is really, really cool. We have double jointed elbow right there. We have, what is that, looks to be a peg joint. Yep, that is a ball and peg there at the wrist. And also one articulation point here at the neck, looking to be well above 20 points of articulation. Let's play with this guy. We got side kicks, really solid side kick. We got front kick. We got flying knee. We got a, we got a superhero landing, but because he's lacking that, rotation this is the best we can get that superhero landing unfortunately let's see so that's as best we can get but don't worry he's mostly standing tall anyway doing those super slow jumps and let's see can he do a sure you can boom they have it and yeah he's pretty articulated uh but you know what let's see how he does with his accessories so let's go to accessories let's go to top down let's see what we're dealing with here we have three, four, five extra hands. We got the pistol and we got the assault rifle here. So let's go to the front cam. That's pretty much it. Uh, when it comes to the assault rifle, it can't go in the back here. It looks like we have a peg right there. Let's see how that looks. Um, there you go. So there you have it. You can have that in the back right there. Let's look at the rifle up close. Looking pretty good. I have to say the details are all there. Uh, doesn't, yeah, the paint apps are okay. It, it, it's just all right. Could have added a little more detail, but you know what? For 20 bucks, I ain't complaining really. So let's get this outfitted on Mr. Chief here. Let's back this up and let's see. Can he two hand the rifle? That's mostly what I was wanting to see. Can he two hand it? And it looks like he can. Can he aim down the sights? Yeah, he can. So there you go. There you have it. There he is with his rifle. He can aim down the sights and everything like that. So you could start blasting the little grunts and you are good to go. Wow, I'm pretty impressed with this figure so far. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, last accessory. We'll look at the arms or the hands, not the arms, the hands at the end of the video. And let's look at this pistol real close. It looks like we have some olive drab there at the handle and whatnot. Looking to be painted pretty cleanly, I have to say. It looks like it can also go in the back. I don't see any other pegs. I knew it. There was something there. Everyone, something fell. Let's see what was that. I had a feeling something was going on here. So there you have it. 
This looks like it should be reversed. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. So you should be able to reverse this. Um, let's see if we can put that in. Everyone, please give me one second as I try to do this. So here you go. I just reversed it, and I'm going to reverse this one as well. I just uh, opposite-sided them. And we're going to put the pistol right here on the side right there. And there you go. Uh, looks like it needs to be pushed in a little bit more. Let's do that one more time. There you have it. There's the pistol on the side right there. Uh, let's put this one back in though. So we have a clean other side. And there you have it. My issue is this, with this is that it seems to be really loose. Like look how easy it is to put, pull this off, right? It's just really needs to like click in or something like that, which is kind of kind of a negative there because you don't want to be um, posing this thing and then the pistol falls off because you were trying to pose it and you lose it. That's honestly how I see that happening. So there you have it. See, it comes off with it too, which is kind of a negative right there. So yeah, I think they could have designed this a little bit better. Maybe uh, give extra pieces of this, like a, a standard piece with a, with a peg that goes into there would have been really, really nice. Like a double-sided peg here. So one here, one there, and it plugs in. An extra piece would have been that easy. But unfortunately, we do not get that. So let's see how he looks when he's holding the pistol. And let's see if he can, like... I know he mostly one-hands the pistol. But yeah, let's, let's outfit him. Let's see if we can two-hand it, right? So there you have it. There he is holding his pistol. And... He's going to try not to teacup it because that's not proper pistol form. And there you have it. That's as close as we're going to get to him actually two-handing the pistol. Let's back this up. Let's see what we're going to do here. And there you have it. So that's him two-handing the pistol right there. Going for a John Wick style shooting up close to the chest. Pop, pop, pop. And there you have hey it. everyone. This is Future Dex. I just wanted to let you guys know that while I was recording the showcase reel, ooh, this is a problem. Not sure that if you have this problem, but mine came with two right-handed fists. Yikes. This sucks. I do not like this. Why do I have two um, right-handed fists here? Now I don't have one for his left here. And that is kind of really sad. I Man. How could they mess this up? I was really hoping to get a uh, two fist here for my Master Chief, but unfortunately, yeah, this is what happened. As much as I would love to return this back and exchange it for another one, gotta say, this guy is incredibly hard to find. Uh, I just double checked all my Walmarts online and nobody has this figure, so man, I'm just gonna have to wait. And even so, this is really sad that I, no one checked in the factory that he came with two of the same fists so yeah i just want to let you guys know that this is a problem that i have with this figure this is a quality control issue all right let's come to the conclusion of this figure of the wicked cool toys master chief you know what i have to be honest with you guys when i first saw pictures of this i wasn't too impressed i said something's up with his paint apps it just doesn't look good and here's something i want to point out while while i'm outfitting him and whatnot let's look at the box here so they kind of lie to you Let's be real. They kind of lie to you. Let's look here. It looks like he's properly panel lined and everything like that. Uh, and this one and the scratches aren't even there. So if you're looking at the, the pictures of it, especially ones that you see online, you're expecting a figure like this properly shaded and whatnot. And then this is actually what you get. You get all the scratches and whatnot. You get no panel lines and everything like that. So I don't like that they did that. I don't like what they put a figure that isn't exactly what you get on the box and then you get something a little bit different. That's not cool. But regardless, I'm not saying that that's bad. I'm saying that that's kind of false advertising. But regardless, the figure does look really fantastic. Um, another negative though, let's keep going with the negatives. This, this is kind of annoying. This falls off super easy. Don't really like that. Um, and I think that's really it when it comes to negatives. Everything else, woo, 20 bucks for this awesome looking figure? That's a solid deal. No wonder why everyone's trying to find this. No wonder why it's going for about 40 bucks on eBay. I have to say, it is 
really, really, really solid. This figure is really cool looking, regardless of what they showed on the box, regardless of the negatives that I said. I cannot help but love this figure. It looks so good, especially the visor. It is so eye-popping. Can't wait to put this on my desk. It's definitely worth it. If you can find it at Walmart or Target here in the United States, I have to say it is really, really good. Just look at it. Just just, just take a moment. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, one thing that I'll plan on doing with this, I want to customize him. I want to give him some super green chromish, candy chrome green uh, armor. I might want to do a custom of that. That's going to be really cool. I'll be doing that on twitch.tv forward slash gstar01. And there you have it. That is my review of the Wicked Cool Toys Halo Spartan Collection Master Chief from Halo 5. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.